More uh, than three years ago, we started a rugby club in Pula in Croatia. Uh, at the new club, we had uh, so much problems getting funding uh, and uh, couldn't get funding from local authorities, couldn't get funding from our national uh, organization, uh, couldn't get funding for, from uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, basically, we, we were without any funding. Uh, so we decided to start working on projects to get funding for, for our club. Uh, uh, as we started to, to gather uh, members for our club, we uh, noticed that most of them were from, I would say, troubled groups, uh, like football fans, uh, like uh, uh, some subculture groups uh, that, that uh, used to have trouble with the law, with, uh, with authorities, with... Uh, just about anything. So uh, what we decided to do is uh, to start a project that would uh, help such young people uh, through, well, our main goal is uh, populariz popularization of rugby. So, so uh, obviously as a sports uh, uh, club, we, we have our priority there to popularize our sport. But uh, I think uh, through uh, such program, uh, young people will get the chance to prove that uh, they can work in a team, that they can learn new skills, and uh, through specialized seminars and workshops, uh, and work with professionals, they can improve their social skills, uh, self-confidence, uh, they can learn how to write proper CV, and how to present their self to potential employers. Uh, and uh, what uh, we hope to, to accomplish is uh, both benefits for uh, both employers and the employees. Employees uh, would uh, get the chance to, to meet with uh, employers that would consider their application seriously, and uh, employers would get an opportunity to uh, hire a person that has proven that uh, uh, he is dedicated, in this case we only had a male group, uh, that he is dedicated uh, to, to work and that he is able to learn new skills and work in a team. Uh, and why are we doing this? Uh, since, as I explained, most of the members from our club were from a football fan supporters group called Demoni or Demons. Uh, uh, that had bad reputation due to aggressive behavior, uh, problems uh, with uh, authorities uh, because of the fights after the game. Uh, and uh, we thought that uh, participating in sports such as rugby, which is a contact sport, would give them a chance to, to channel some of that aggression on the sports field uh, within the rules of the game which would uh, remove some of that violence from the streets. Uh, and functioning in the team, those same individuals would uh, learn new codes of con conduct which they can uh, apply in everyday life. Where, where did we get the idea? This is supposed to be uh, a video, but codex don't work, so I will just skip this and say a few words about it. Uh, this is a project School of Hard Knocks. It's uh, sponsored mostly by Sky Sports. Uh, it uh, is running in the uh, UK for, I think, six years <coughs> this year. And uh, they actually go to, to uh, unemployment centers and uh, handpick guys that, that can play rugby and uh, make them join the program. There are lots of participants that, that just don't want to do it till the end but they stick with their uh, program and try to get them back even if they leave. Uh, is such pro project uh, needed in Croatia? Yes, definitely yes. Uh, small research we did on uh, 200 young people. 
people from those subculture groups uh, showed that after se at that moment, that was two years ago, uh, more than 70% of football matches uh, end in Croatia end with uh, fans from one team fighting fans from the other team. In those uh, cases, uh, most of the participants in those fights get injured or uh, arrested or have permanent records on their uh, on their uh, on their <coughs> records, yeah, uh, and uh, have trouble uh, getting a job later because of that. So, so uh, we decided to take that population, 20 to 30 years of age, which uh, has poor social status, uh, small small uh, financial income, and uh, in general, uh, it's very difficult to find jobs for them. Uh, Why well, rugby? Uh, rugby uh, is a team sport, which uh, requires, uh, well, for those people, learning of new skills, uh, requires persistent, persistence and uh, decision-making skills. And those decisions need to be made in, in a matter of seconds. So, so uh, people that can play rugby, I think, uh, can do any job. I mean, uh, and as a contact sport, rugby provides an opportunity for those people to, to get their frustrations and, and uh, aggression uh, channeled to, to the structured game uh, within the rules of rugby and uh, to, to, to uh, make everything they want uh, within those rules on the rugby pitch. Uh, also, uh, research has shown that uh, any sports or physical activity is uh, good uh, as a prevention for uh, stress, uh, frustration or depression. And uh, teamwork and structure uh, will promote uh, so, uh, rules that that uh, those guys will learn to apply in everyday life. Uh, how do we plan to do it? Well, most of the, the program is uh, similar to the original program. Uh, it, it consists of eight weeks of preparations, but those preparations are not only uh, about uh, learning sport, and the rules of the game, but uh, all individual participants will work with uh, professionals, psychologists, psychiatrists, uh, social workers, which will help them uh, realize what problems they have and help them solve, solve them. Uh, also, in cooperation with, uh, with uh, entrepreneurs in Pula and local government, uh, we were able to get 15 of them to agree to, to uh, get those guys job interviews. No promises about getting the job, but they will at least get a chance to, to present themselves. Uh, we try to, uh, what we want to do is uh, reduce violence, which was becoming a real problem in Pula. Uh, also, uh, participants will get uh, a broad, uh, broad view uh, of which skills they need to to be employable. So, so uh, that doesn't include only writing CVs and uh, and uh, presenting themselves, but also working on themselves, uh, bettering, uh, uh, improving their self confidence, bettering their skills, uh, and uh, realizing which areas they need to work on the most. Uh, also. The project will give a chance for other young people from the local community, like uh, musicians, graffiti makers, video editors, to include themselves in the program and present their skills in a non-formal way to possible future employers. Of course, uh, one of the goals was obtaining a pitch for our club and uh, creating a rugby team in our city. Uh, First part of uh, our our agenda was to gather participants, of course. Uh, we agreed with the uh, uh, leaders of the football group, fan group Demoni, 
that the best way to do that is uh, for them to present uh, the program to their members on their regular meetings, and then to meet uh, with the uh, representatives of the club and the organizers to pick the participants that would be eligible for for the project. Of course, uh, we were prepared uh, not to have enough uh, participants that way, so with the participants that we uh, would gather, uh, we plan to, to advertise uh, with leaflets, uh, posters, that the participants that agreed to, to participate would uh, hand over around the city and invite uh, young people on their own. Uh, second part would be coach training, uh, which is, uh, we have uh, contacted uh, people that worked on the original program in England, so they were ready to send us coaches that would teach our people to, to do the work, uh, since uh, we didn't uh, want that project to be only one year project and then it's finished, but uh, the, in later years, our own people could, could do that by themselves. Uh, and after that, the real, real program actually begins. Uh, sports training uh, would be divided into two basic uh, parts. First one would be basic preparation because most of those people are uh, totally unfit and uh, out of shape. They haven't uh, been uh, doing sports in years, so, so they first need to build strength and, and the stamina to, to be able to play rugby. Uh, along with that part, they, were also, uh, they also need to learn the rules of rugby, since rugby in Croatia is a new sport and no one really knows the rules. Uh, second part uh, of the training is uh, fitness and conditioning. Uh, also, uh, parallel with that part, uh, we would uh, teach the guys rugby technique and tactics. Uh, in the afternoons, uh, we plan to uh, do workshops for, for uh, those same guys with uh, professionals uh, like psychiatrists, psychologists, uh, managers, uh, actually any successful uh, members of our community that have something to contribute to, to motivate those people to, to, to keep in, in program. Uh, some of the, the workshops would be held uh, at the Faculty of Economics and some uh, would be held in the, with individuals and smaller groups in dedicated offices. Uh, also, uh, important part of the program is uh, uh, social su psychosocial support. Uh, we would like to offer uh, our participants uh, complete assistance from uh, social workers that would uh, explain to them what rights they have and uh, the ways uh, in which they can uh, can get their rights uh, uh, to, to uh, psychiatrists that will, if necessary, treat mental illness and diagnose and treat mental illnesses if we encounter them. Uh, also, project uh, uh, consists of motivational activities just to keep the, the participants interested in the project. So we engage uh, local, well, not, not just local, but, but national uh, top athletes like uh, Zel Galašić, who fights in...